This highway does not have a speed limit. This is the Autobahn in Germany, officially known as the Bundesautobahn, is a renowned highway in Germany and considered one of the best driving roads in the world. On 70% of the Autobahn, there is no speed limit, allowing drivers to travel at their desired speed. Spanning over 13,192 kilometers, it boasts a rich history and notable features that make it a must-drive for any car enthusiast. The Autobahn has several stretches with no speed limit, as well as an emergency lane. While you may be able to drive at super fast speeds, there are certain rules and laws that are considered illegal on the Autobahn, such as running out of fuel and stopping unnecessarily. The reasons behind not setting a limit is that firstly, high speed driving is not considered inherently unsafe in Germany, and the drivers in Germany are well trained to operate vehicles at high speeds cautiously. There are also specific rules and etiquette for driving that must be followed to prevent accidents and avoid costly fines. The German Autobahn also serves as a test area and open research and development platform, allowing for the simulation of various driving scenarios. With a total length of 13,192 kilometers and a density of 36 motorway kilometers per thousand square kilometers, it ranks among the densest and longest controlled access systems in the world. The fastest speed ever recorded on the Autobahn was in 1938, when Rudolf Caracciallo drove a V12 Mercedes-Benz W125 record wagon at a ridiculous 432 kilometers per hour. There have been several attempts to reach top speeds on the Autobahn, but none have been able to break the world record. There are numerous videos on the internet of Lamborghinis, Bugattis and Ferraris speeding down the German highways. However, the entire Autobahn is not free-form restrictions. There are several sections or patches that enjoy the title of being no speed zones. While there is no speed limit in over two-thirds of the network, but a recommended speed of 130 kilometers per hour is advisable. But is it really safe? Technically, traffic-related deaths in Germany are among the lowest in the world compared to any other countries. This is because the roads in Germany are made to accommodate higher speed traffic. The Autobahn road surfaces are constructed with multiple layers of concrete and also inspected regularly for irregularities in the road surface or any damage. If anything is found during these inspections, the whole area of road around the damaged section is replaced. The high speed limits or no speed limits on German Autobahn is in place where the roads are safe enough for it. The German Autobahn Highway is a dream for those who love to drive fast, but it also poses a significant risk for collisions that can result in death or serious injury. Besides this, there are several laws and fines that must be kept in mind while driving in Germany. Failure to comply with these laws may result in a suspension of one's license for up to three months. Additionally, obtaining a driving license in Germany is a more rigorous process. Most sections of Germany's Autobahn have two or three, and sometimes even four lanes in each direction, as well as an emergency lane. 
A few sections of the road only have two lanes in each direction and do not have emergency lanes, as well as short slip roads and ramps. According to the rules set in Germany, an ideal driver should not exceed the speed limit of 130 kilometers per hour. Going beyond this limit increases the driver's responsibility. What do you think? Does the speed limit need to exist? Let us know your thoughts on the comments. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any of our new content. Until then, take care and see you next time.